Hey everyone, this is Sue Oyuela, and in this webinar we're going to be talking about how to make money with Airbnb without owning any property. And you may have heard other webinars about using other people's property to make money with Airbnb, but not like this one. Today we're going to be talking about a new strategy that you haven't heard of before because I'm the only one teaching it. So if you're an entrepreneur and you've been wanting to get in on the lucrative short-term rental game, Today, I'm going to remove all barriers to entry so you can get your Airbnb business up and running in the next 30 days. And if you happen to be a property owner, this is going to be really great information for you because you'll discover opportunities you didn't even know you had right at your fingertips. And if you're already an Airbnb host, you're in a perfect position to take your business to the next level in ways I guarantee you, you haven't thought of yet. And if I can do that, then this webinar will have been a success. Okay, so now we're going to get started. So what I want you to do is turn off all distractions, put your cell phone on silent, close out other internet tabs you've got open, and get out a pen and paper because you're going to want to take notes. And at the end of today's presentation, I'm going to be giving you an incredibly valuable free gift just for being on the webinar. It's my three-step system for determining how much money your property can make with Airbnb. You get the five keys to finding a profitable location, the three secrets to picking the most profitable property with the least amount of risk, and my cash flow calculator. So you're definitely going to want to stay until the end to get this valuable free gift. So what I'm going to teach you guys today is going to help you shortcut the learning process and build a turnkey, automated, short-term rental business, even if you don't have any property or money to work with. And if you do have some property and capital to start with, well, that's okay too. <laughs> and here's what you're going to discover on today's webinar. How to use leverage to control other people's property in the most straightforward way how to create multiple streams of income from a short-term rental business, how to become an Airbnb expert even if you've never used the website before, and I'll be showing you how to add an unlimited number of properties, how to outsource and automate your business so you can work less and make more money, and I'll take you behind the scenes to see my listings and show you how easy it is to make thousands of dollars extra each month. That's right. I mean, can you imagine that? What would life be like if you had a passive six-figure income from Airbnb, even without owning any of your own properties? What if I handed you the formula for setting up, systematizing, and outsourcing your business using other people's properties? Would you take it? Think about it. How many properties would you add? How big would you grow your business? What would you do with your life if you made enough money working just 10 hours per month? What would you do different? Imagine in a month from now, what's it going to be like? What are the kids going to say when their parents are at home and they're making twice as much money? Pretty exciting, don't you think? Okay, so before we go on, I just want to make sure that you're in the right place. So to do that, let me start by giving you a little quiz and answer the following questions truthfully. Ready? Okay. The first question is, are you looking for a way to be free from a boss? I know for me, I knew that as long as I was trading hours for dollars in a job, I was only going to succeed in making someone else rich. Question number two, do you want to make extra money, but you don't have a lot of spare time? Yeah, often when we work for a boss, we get stuck in that endless cycle of work, sleep, work, with little or no time to do anything else, right? Well, with systems and automation, you can streamline your business to take less and less of your valuable time and at the same time, keep increasing your income. Voila! Make more money and work less. And for the third and last question, do you want to have the time freedom and money freedom to fulfill your true life's purpose? See, my last boss, he was the CEO of a manufacturing company and he would say to me, I know when you were a child and they asked you, what do you want to be when you grow up? You probably didn't dream of becoming the customer care manager for a manufacturing company, did you? <laughs> Not very glamorous, right? 
Well, this was his way of acknowledging that I was destined for bigger things, that everyone has a reason and a true life purpose to fulfill. And often we don't have the luxury of discovering what it is or pursuing it. But when you have enough money coming in each month to free you up and the time to explore, build, and grow, then you're in the perfect position to pursue your true life's purpose. And unless we're freed up to fulfill that purpose, we're not being as effective as we should be. We feel empty, frustrated, and unsatisfied. Can you relate? Okay, so if you answered yes to at least one of these three questions, then you and I have a lot in common. <laughs> because I was there too not so long ago. And I've been able to escape the rat race and live my true life purpose, thanks to Airbnb. And I want to show you how to get there too. So you are definitely in the right place. And you've probably been hearing about how Airbnb and short-term rentals are the coolest new ways to make money with real estate for entrepreneurs, landlords, and property owners. And you may have even looked into short-term rentals. But then you realize that you need a property to work with to get started. And if you don't have a house, a timeshare, or rental property, then you're thinking, well, I'll need enough capital to buy a place and furnish it. So you start looking at financing and lenders and then private money and hard money loans. And if that gets too pricey, then you begin to explore renting other people's property. But now you have to figure out how to approach a landlord and sell them on the idea of letting you use their property for Airbnb. And if they agree, well, then you have to decide how you'll lease it from the landlord. Okay, well, you can use a regular lease with a sublet clause. Or you can get fancy with contracts like master leases and sandwich leases and seller carrybacks, too. And if you don't happen to have about $25,000 or so to get started, then you finally just walk away from the deal and you say, forget it, never mind. But I'm here to tell you, wait. Before you give up, I want to encourage you that there is a way to take advantage of the massive returns people are getting from short-term rentals. Sometimes you just need to look at the business opportunity from a little different perspective. And this is the breakthrough that you've been waiting for. And I believe that it is not an accident that you're here today. Because today I'm going to show you how to make money with Airbnb without you ever having to buy or lease a property. And you don't need any money to get started, which means no lenders and no startup capital needed ever. Just get paid to start an Airbnb business and then enjoy the cash flow month after month. And you can build your Airbnb business anywhere. Airbnb is in 191 countries around the world. Let me just show you a few quick examples. I've been working with students who are using my formula to grow their Airbnb businesses all around the world. Cartagena, Colombia, Kathmandu, Nepal, Barbados, Palm Springs, California, Charlotte, North Carolina, the Texas Gulf Coast. And keep in mind that my students don't necessarily live in the same city or even country as their Airbnb property. There's no limit to the number of properties you can control and make money on. And there are no limits to how big you can grow your Airbnb business using the business model I'm going to be sharing with you today. In fact, of the four business models that I use with Airbnb on a daily basis, this is the one that I'm the most excited about. It makes up 90% of my inventory. See, in 2011, an acquaintance told me about Airbnb, and I started renting rooms in my own home to short-term guests who were in town on vacation. So in the first six months, I added four listings. We fixed up the shed in the backyard and rented it as the cozy cabin. We turned our laundry room into the garden sunrise room. And when the kids moved out, my daughter's room was turned into a themed room called the Hollywood Room. And my son's room became the Ocean Beach Room. And at the end of six months, I saw that I was making more money from renting these four rooms on Airbnb 
than I was making in my full-time job as a manager. But it was only taking me about 10 hours per month to run my Airbnb business compared to my full-time job as a manager, which I was working about 60 hours per week, you know, without getting paid overtime, of course, or roughly 240 hours a month. So at this point, I started to ask myself the question, why not quit my manager job and just do Airbnb? But I kept doing both for another three months just to be sure the income from Airbnb was steady and predictable. And guess what? It was steady and predictable. So just nine months after discovering Airbnb, I quit my full-time job. And it was the best decision I could have ever made. Now I have lots of extra time on my hands to look for ways to grow the business and find other ways to use this wonderful tool called Airbnb. I mean, Airbnb is doing all of the marketing for me and all of the payment processing which frees me up to focus on growing my inventory of properties. And in my search, I discover that not only can I rent private rooms and spaces on Airbnb, but also whole houses and other people's properties as well. So I find a house for rent in my neighborhood, and I offer the landlord a little higher than market rent, which she happily accepts. And it's a five-bedroom, three-bath house. So as her tenant, I then run it as a bed and breakfast, where I rent the four individual rooms to different groups of people, and we have an on-site host that lives in the fifth bedroom, so then they're there to greet the guests and keep the common areas clean. And this nets me $2,000 a month on average, which is great. But unfortunately, it isn't scalable, because one, it's too expensive to start each one, for example, it takes about $25,000 to get this house started with the first month's rent, the deposit, buying the appliances, and then furnishing the whole place. And two, I realize that if I owe rent on lots of rental properties and maybe the laws suddenly change or something, then I'm stuck with having to pay rent on all of the houses that I'm no longer able to make money on. And I'm just not comfortable with that level of exposure to risk and liability. And then I discovered the strategy that explodes my business, which I'm going to share with you in just a minute. And today, I'm an active Airbnb host in Los Angeles. To this day, I still love renting the four rooms in my own house to vacationing guests. Plus, I've got 10 more properties under contract 21 listings on Airbnb, and over 1,600 positive reviews. I currently use four different vacation rental business models for making a six-figure income with Airbnb, but the one I want to focus on today is the one that makes up 90% of my Airbnb business. This is the business model that has allowed me to escape the rat race and stop trading hours for dollars. And this is the business model that has allowed my husband to quit his job, too. This is the business model that allowed us to pay off our debt in record time. And this is the business model that has allowed us to live what we call the Bob Dylan lifestyle. You see, Bob Dylan was quoted as saying, A man is a success if he gets up in the morning, goes to bed at night, and in between, he does whatever he wants. And I know the pain of working for a boss and being told when to go to lunch and missing birthdays, weddings, funerals, and school plays because the boss says, no, you can't have the time off. And Airbnb was the door that allowed me to escape into the freedom I had been searching for for so long. So when my daughter says, come skydive in Hawaii with me so I can do a barrel roll out of the plane, I can say yes. Or my cousin says, I'm getting married in Armenia. Will you be in my wedding? I can say yes. And if I just want to go to the beach on a Thursday, I don't have to ask the boss for permission. I can say yes to myself. And now that I'm free, my passion is to help others become free too so I can help you say yes to yourself. So you can build a business that lets you get up in the morning, 
go to bed at night, and in between, do whatever you want. How awesome is that? Well, to help you do that, I've actually condensed all of my experience over the last six years, learned from the School of Hard Knocks, thank you very much, into an online course that I'm going to tell you more about at the end of the webinar today. And let me tell you that along the way, I did a lot of things wrong, and I learned from those mistakes. It was a lot harder than I thought. In fact, I tried about a dozen different websites that were similar to Airbnb, but all with disastrous results in one way or another. I had to problem solve, create templates, and streamline systems to avoid all of the pitfalls that I discovered the hard way. And today, I just want to shortcut you and just give you the secrets for what I believe is the best way to use Airbnb. So you can get started today if you want, skip the painful and expensive learning curve, and start making money in as little as 30 days. You're going to discover how to take advantage of the increased income that short-term rentals generate, but without all of that pesky expense, risk, and liability that go along with owning or leasing a property. And just to illustrate what I mean by taking advantage of the increased income that you get from short-term rentals, check this out. Short-term rentals generate double or triple the amount of rent you'd normally get from a long-term rental. For example, we used to rent a spare room in our house to students for $500 a month. But since we've switched to renting it on Airbnb by the night to short-term guests, now we make $1,500 a month. And the same thing happened on our whole house rental. We had tenants paying $1,200 a month, and when they moved out and we rented it by the night to vacationing guests, we made $3,600 per month. I mean, it's a dramatic difference. So what we're going to be talking about today is how to use leverage to control other people's property and generate these kinds of returns. Now, before I get into the lesson, I do have to say this first, that this is not going to be a get-rich-quick scheme. There are no sneaky methods or shady stuff here. I'm always looking for ways to help everyone win. My results are certainly not typical, and the average person who attends any training gets zero results. However, I'm happy to show you exactly what's working for me. Okay, so that being said, let's move on. Let me share with you the three secrets to getting paid to run an Airbnb business without owning any property. Now, there's a lot of power in this strategy that I'm about to share with you. I call it the ultimate leverage. It will serve you for the rest of your life and provide not just the financial freedom, but the time freedom that you've been looking for. So you can live the Bob Dylan lifestyle. <laughs> so here we go. Starting with secret number one, which begins with controlling the property. Now write this down. The first step to making money with Airbnb is controlling a property. It makes sense, doesn't it? That before you can create a listing and rent a space, room, house, or timeshare on Airbnb, you have to control it. Well, this is phase one of the Airbnb business cycle, because without a property under your control, you have nothing to work with, right? And how do you get a property under your control? So secret number one is we control a property by using a contract. Let's look at some of the options for getting a property under contract. First of all, you can buy it and control it with a purchase contract. However, when I have to put 20% down on each investment property and then wait 45 to 90 days for escrow to close. For me, that's just too expensive and too slow. I like to scale much faster. Okay, so let's say you're renting or leasing a property instead. Now you can control it with a lease contract. However, asking a landlord about subletting their property can be a disastrous conversation if it's not handled right. And if you're trying to explain one of those fancy lease contracts to the landlord, like lease options, master leases, or sandwich leases, you're liable to just scare them off altogether because it's just too complicated. And in some cases, 
if the landlord understands how much money you're going to be making with their house, they may get greedy and raise the rent so high it just doesn't make a decent profit for you anymore. This happened to a friend of mine. The landlord wanted $4,000 a month for rent, but when he learned how much money Airbnb could make, he told my friend he would be willing to let him sublet the house for $6,000 a month instead, which of course made the deal very unattractive at that point and it fell through. So what's the solution? Well, as I mentioned, I like to use leverage to control other people's properties, but in the most straightforward way, without buying a property and without any complicated leasing strategies. So with my strategic approach, I like to control other people's properties with a special contract, something I call a guest management contract. By controlling the property with a guest management contract, you're providing a service to manage the bookings for a busy property owner or landlord through Airbnb. And I just want to point out that Airbnb is the tool that allows you to offer this service. In the same way an accountant might offer their bookkeeping services to a business and they use QuickBooks or another accounting program as the tool for delivering their valuable service. So you understand that by offering your services to a landlord, you're not working for Airbnb. You're just using the tool that they've provided to you as a means to providing a service. Does that make sense? Okay, good. So this is very lucrative and I'll tell you why. Let's do a comparison for a minute. Let's think about it from this standpoint and ask yourself the question, whose responsibility would it be to pay for the following items? If you were to go out and control someone else's house to do Airbnb by renting it from a landlord with a lease contract. Okay, so in this example, you're the tenant. What would you be responsible to pay for? And what would the landlord be responsible to pay for? So let's go down the list. So every month, the tenant pays the rent and the landlord pays the mortgage, if any. Now, the utilities are the tenant's responsibility. and Furnishing the house would be at your expense. And when it comes to appliances, if you're lucky, the landlord will provide maybe the stove or refrigerator and the washer and dryer. But if not, those will be an additional startup cost for you. And the question of who pays for the gardener, well, that's negotiable. And repairs and maintenance are the responsibility of the landlord. But you could see how, as the tenant, you have startup costs and ongoing monthly expenses that would eat into your profits, right? Well, now let's compare that to using a guest management contract to control a property. And now you're changing your relationship to a service provider and property owner. So now, as the service provider, you have no monthly rent to pay because the owner is paying the mortgage themselves. Now the owner puts the utilities in their name, so there are no utilities for you to pay. And the owner is responsible for furnishing the place, so there's no furniture or appliances to buy. And the owner is responsible for the repairs and maintenance of the property, as usual. So by using leverage to control a property with a guest management contract, you're able to run an Airbnb business with no risk no liability, and no expense. Okay, so that's pretty brilliant, wouldn't you agree? But guess what? It gets better. So you're probably wondering, Sue, so when you talk about guest management services, what does it mean to manage the guests? Well, your daily duties would look something like this. You would answer the guest inquiries through the Airbnb app on your smartphone, or perhaps from the watch on your wrist if you're really cool. You would screen the guests and accept the reservations. You would send the guests their check-in instructions and you would leave reviews for the guests after they check out. So basically this boils down to texting, which is probably what you do all day anyways for free, right? Okay, so how much time does this really take? Well, all it takes is about one hour per month total for each listing that you have under your Airbnb account. 
So when you sign a guest management contract with a property owner, now you can see that you no longer need any capital. You don't need to take out a loan. And you don't need angel investors or private money lenders or hard money loans to control the property. Because you're simply providing a service to the busy property owners to help them make money with Airbnb. Okay, so if I just blew your mind, hold on to your hat because that was just secret number one. And guess what? It gets better. So let's go on to secret number two, which is that instead of paying to start an Airbnb business, now you can get paid. How much? Anywhere from $500 to $2,500. See, the key word in guest management services is service. By offering a service, you're able to charge for your knowledge and expertise when helping the landlord or property owner get started. And how much you charge is up to you. So check it out. My student Jill has a housekeeping business in Hawaii. So she offers her guest management services to her existing clients as well as homeowners who travel back and forth between the mainland and Hawaii. She charges her clients $500 to set up their property and listing the right way. She manages the reservations for the owners when they're out of town, so they're making money when they aren't using the property, and then they simply tell her when they're returning so she can block the calendar for them to use their own house whenever they want. Now Natalie, she's in Santa Monica, and she has a property management business. She offers vacation rental services to her existing clients as well as homeowners who want to make an extra two to $10,000 per month and she charges them a $1,000 listing creation fee to set them up. Mark is a realtor in Norwalk, California. He makes an extra side income by offering guest management services to property owners in Los Angeles and seniors with extra rooms in their houses. He advises them and explains the process of hosting guests in simple terms to put them at ease. And in the client onboarding meeting, he has them sign the contract and he collects a check for $750 to set up their account. Felix is an entrepreneur in Los Angeles. He's charging $2,500 for his clients to get started. He adds value by advising them on setup, positioning, pricing, and listing creation. So these are just some of the ways you can get paid to play the Airbnb game with no property and no money out of your own pocket. Pretty cool, huh? But guess what? It gets better. <laughs> So let's go on to mind-blowing secret number three, which is how to make an ongoing monthly income. So after you get paid to set up the account, now you can collect a monthly income of 10 to 20 percent or more of the revenue that you bring in for the owner on an ongoing basis. Because once you start managing the guests, you keep a percentage of everything you make for the property owner. And by charging a percentage rather than a flat fee, you make more money when the property owner makes more money. So it's a win-win. So now let's talk about how much money can you make from this. Well, let's say you want to make $1,000 per month from just one property. What would that look like? Well, all you would need to have is a property that brings in $5,000 in one month, and you keep 20% of that. That would be $1,000, right? So there you go. OK, so how hard is it to do that? Well, let's take a look at some real life examples. This is what I'm doing right now. These are screen capture shots of my actual Airbnb listing calendars. You could see the number of bookings, how much each one brought in, and what my service fee was at the end of the month. So here's a whole house rental in Rosemead, California that we call Lemon Farms. It's two bedrooms, two baths, and it holds up to eight guests. It brought in $6,310 for the month. So the owner gets 80%, which is $5,048, and the guest manager keeps 20% or $1,262. So a little more than $1,000. Cool. So let's take a look at another one. This is a five-bedroom, three-bath house in Whittier, California. And note that these properties are not in the hot spots like Santa Monica and Hollywood, where we can charge a lot more per night. 
out here in the suburbs, these are the discount rates as far as vacation rentals go. So this house brought in $9,917, 80% of which went to the owner, which was $7,934, and the remainder of 20%, or $1,983, went to the service provider. And then we have the Ocean Breeze Cottage. That's a three-bedroom, two-bath home in Upland, California. <laughs> okay, Upland. <laughs> For those of you who are not familiar with the Los Angeles area, Upland is a little town off of Route 66, about 60 miles from Santa Monica, <laughs> and is not what you would call a vacation destination. But take a look. You could see the calendar here that it was booked for most of the month by guests, and when the owners were in town, they blocked out two nights for themselves. <laughs> yes, the owner's name is Thor. So the income was $4,079 for the month. The owners got $3,263, and the service provider kept $816. And of course, the income fluctuates from month to month, but now you can see how easy it is and if you can make $1,000 per month on just one house, how many properties would you add? Two, five, ten, maybe more? Now, like I said, it takes about one hour per month to manage the guests for each listing. And for the three listings that I just showed you, it took about three hours to bring in a little over $4,000 for the month. So you're thinking, okay, that's great, but there's a ceiling here where I'm eventually going to run out of capacity to be able to handle this, right? <laughs> but what if I told you that you could take it to the next level and outsource the daily management so it becomes a truly turnkey business? Now you've got nothing but upside income potential and a truly scalable business opportunity. And it's up to you how far you want to take it. Pretty amazing, right? And I just want to tell you that the reason I share this with you is because my passion is to help people out of the rat race and into financial freedom. And the best way I know to do that is to show people how to set up an Airbnb business using all of my tools, systems, and strategies so as to create multiple streams of income with short-term rentals. In fact, when I started doing Airbnb in 2011, people began hunting me down and asking me to teach them how to do Airbnb. One guy, Bill, he even deduced from the clues in my listing where my house was, and he came and knocked on my door, and he paid me to teach him how to convert his assisted living facilities over to vacation rentals. Today, he's a super host with over 400 positive reviews. Then, I taught everyone in my family to do Airbnb, so now when we're all together at parties and we hear that little Airbnb bling sound on our phones that means we have a new reservation, Everyone reaches for their pocket and then someone shouts, it's mine! <laughs> and as fate would have it, one day one of my guests saw how my husband and I were essentially semi-retired thanks to Airbnb and he said, you should create a course so you could teach people how to do this. And because my passion was to help more people become financially free and I had a background in administration, creating systems and lean manufacturing, I was able to condense everything I've learned over the last six years and everything I've been teaching into a simple, repeatable, four-step system to make it easy for more people to follow my proven formula for success and get great results faster. And it's as simple as understanding the four phases of an Airbnb short-term rental business. Each of the phases has a clearly defined beginning and end point. So let me go over what they are with you real quick. Beginning with phase one, controlling the property, it begins when you identify the ideal property and ends when you have a signed contract. So in this case, it would be a guest management contract, giving you the right to rent it to short-term guests on behalf of the property owner. Moving into phase two, furnishing the property, you'll advise the owner on the best way to furnish and stage the property. Then, once the pictures of the property are taken, Phase two ends and you're ready for phase three. Phase three is where you complete the Airbnb listing. You upload the pictures, write the description, and put all of the robust features that Airbnb has to offer to work for you. When the listing is polished and complete, then and only then are you ready to go live. So when you list the property on Airbnb for all the world to see, 
now you are officially open for business. And phase four is all about the daily business management, where we bring it all together with systems, automation, and outsourcing, so you have a truly turnkey business. Now you're ready to go out and add more and more properties to your heart's content. These could be new clients or even other properties that the same client has. Because believe me, when they see how much money you're making for them, they'll want to convert all of their properties over to short-term rentals. Which, by the way, is the best way to grow your guest management business. So if you're wondering, how can I offer guest management services if I've never used Airbnb before? Well, that's where my package comes in, and it includes my online course called the B&B Freedom Formula. It comes with a login that never expires, so you can go at your own pace. And this is the formula that I created to give you a scalable business model for you to systematize and automate your guest management services business. The B&B Freedom Formula course is broken down into seven modules for putting your Airbnb business on autopilot. And here's the thing. If you've never done Airbnb before, and you're approaching property owners to offer your guest management services, you're going to need to know how to explain everything to them and establish yourself as a confident Airbnb business consultant. Well, don't worry, because this course will give you not only the confidence, but all of the tools you need and the clear path to follow every step of the way. So now you're probably wondering, where am I going to find clients? Don't worry, because we go over all of the strategies, scripts, and where to find your ideal clients in the client acquisition system. I'm not going to spill all the beans here, but to give you an idea of the kinds of strategies I reveal in the course, they include where to find property owners that are hungry for your services, the magic words to use to make prospects say, I want that, and how to use the guest management services contract to close the sale and pick up the check. This contract is strategically designed to guide the conversation with the client to help them ask the right questions so it gives you a chance to explain the ins and outs of the short-term rental process. Because remember, this is still pretty new to them. So when you go through the contract together, you'll guide them to ask all of the right questions and they'll get all of the answers they need to feel comfortable so they can sign confidently on the dotted line. At that point, they happily write out a check for $500, $1,000, $2,000, or whatever you want to charge for your listing setup services and get them off to a fast start. And I also have a bonus strategy for you to help you grow your business. I show you how to train and assign a helper to each of your listings so they can manage the guest communication for you. This is crazy because now your business has unlimited growth potential simply by being able to add additional account managers as your business grows. So there you have it. After completing the seven modules in the course, you'll be thoroughly equipped to go out and run your guest management services business and get paid to start an Airbnb business. Fast and easy. And this package is worth $10,000 alone to get a turnkey short-term rental business up and running in 30 days or less without having to figure it all out from scratch, without having to go out and find properties and get them under control. Instead, just work smarter, not harder, and go out and partner with the folks who already have the property, and just keep a percentage of everything you bring in for them each month without the headaches of having to pay the mortgage, without having to pay for the utilities each month, without having to pay to furnish the place, without having to worry about paying for the repairs, none of that. That's why this is the ultimate leverage, a truly win-win situation. You help property owners make more money and eliminate eviction headaches, and you make money without having to spend a dime. How awesome is that? Well, guess what? It gets even better because I have another great opportunity for you. You see, right now, I'm happy with the money my business is bringing in and the amount of time it takes to run it. It's the perfect balance for me and my husband. So when new clients ask me to manage their guests for them, instead of saying no, I'd like to be able to send them to someone I trust. And who do I trust more than my own students, those who have gone through my course, who know how to manage everything the right way and have been personally trained by me. 
So the opportunity I have for you is to join my referral network and open up yet another path in your business for getting new clients. So I want to invite you to join my nationwide network of guest managers. All you do is master the course, take and pass the certification test at the end of the course, and then I'll be able to send new clients your way. So what's a new client worth? Well, we'll just call it $1,000 for now because it's hard to put a value on an endless stream of income. So membership in my nationwide network of certified reservation managers is a $1,000 value. And it gets better. I have something very special for the action takers who are ready to get started and sign up today. See, I'm all about taking action and getting results. So for those who sign up before the end of the webinar today, you'll get to join my monthly group coaching calls where we'll be meeting in an online chat room once a month. I'll be answering your questions and helping you build your Airbnb business personally. So get in before the webinar ends today if you want to be a part of this select group. The monthly group coaching calls is a $500 value. And because I really want to help you succeed, when you enroll in the online course, you also get access to my private Facebook group. This is our community where we encourage one another, share our stories, help one another, and celebrate when we get new clients. And I'll be popping in once a week to answer questions too. Membership in my private Facebook group is a $500 value. So what this means is you're going to get the entire B&B Freedom Formula course with the seven modules valued at $10,000 plus these three powerful bonuses for a total package valued at $12,000. So I want to ask you something. Think about it. If all this package did was finally get some passive income coming in, would it be worth it? Yeah, I thought so. And if all it did was give you the motivation you needed to finally get you moving, would it be worth it? Yeah, I think so too. And if all it did was give you two to three new clients per month, would it be worth it? In fact, what's one client going to be worth to you? If you bring in just $5,000 a month for them and you keep 20%, that's $1,000 a month in your pocket. That's $12,000 a year. How much would you pay to get one new client per month, per week, or per day? I don't know about you, but I'd trade a one-time investment of $12,000 for two or three accounts that pay me year after year all day long because this is a one-time investment. You never have to pay again, but that knowledge that you've got will pay you forever. So it's a good deal, right? I mean, would it make sense to pay me just $12,000 one time to show you how to get an unlimited number of clients and build a turnkey business? Sure, because then every client after the first one is pure profit. So you can see why it's a good deal at $12,000, but don't worry, I'm not charging that much today. In fact, I'm not going to charge $5,000, even though it would still be totally worth it. I mean, to start a business for as little as $5,000 is unheard of. But because I want to make this a really sweet deal for you, I'm bringing the price down to less than $2,000. So the ridiculously low investment for the entire course and bonuses today is just $1,497. And keep in mind that when you sign up a new client, you'll be charging them a one-time setup fee of $500 to $1,000 or more. So you can see how this course can pay for itself very quickly. So now the card is open, and you can go ahead and open a new tab at the top of your browser so you can keep listening to the webinar while you copy and paste the link, which you should see in the chat. Or you could just type my name, sueoyuela.com forward slash start into your browser and enroll in the course right now. I'm going to spell my name for you. S-U-E-H-O-Y-U-E-L-A. So sueoyuela.com forward slash start. And like I said earlier, I like to work with action takers. So if that's you, I have a very special opportunity for you. When you open up a new tab for the checkout page and you get enrolled in the course, Use the coupon code STREAMER to get an additional $500 off. But this code is only good for the first 10 people. After that, the price goes back up to $14.97, which is still a great price either way. But if you know you're going to do this anyways, 
why not save some money and get enrolled now? In fact, let me show you, this is what it's going to look like when you go to the checkout page. Follow along with me. So on the left-hand side at the top, you'll fill in your email address and then create a password. This is where you're actually creating your login for the course because as soon as you make payment, you'll have access to the B&B Freedom Formula course and be able to dive right in. Once you finish completing the information on the left-hand side, then come over to the right-hand side where you'll see up in the top right, it says Order Summary, and it says Have a Coupon. See that? If you click on the blue link that says Click Here to Enter Your Code, this is where you're going to enter the coupon code STREAMER. S-T-R-E-A-M-E-R. -E -E and if you're one of the first 10 people, when you take the next very important step and click the button to apply your discount, you'll see the price drop to $9.97. Voila! Then just click on Buy Now button and you'll be taken to PayPal where you'll be able to verify the purchase. Now on the next page, I want to point out two things. First, you'll note that the name of the company is Timo, so you won't be surprised when the confirmation email comes through. And second, I'm using PayPal to process the payments, and what that means is that even if you don't have a PayPal account, you can still easily pay with the credit card of your choice. And if you do have a PayPal account, you can choose to pay with your PayPal balance or even apply for PayPal credit which it makes it super easy to get started today and make payments over the next six months. Then you'll be all set. After you purchase, you'll have instant access to the members area of the course and you'll be able to dive right in. Okay, great. So now you have two choices. First, you could do nothing and when you wake up tomorrow, you'll be doing the exact same thing you're doing right now. Or you can make this small investment today, get started, and in the next 30 days, you'll have the entire system up and running and be making money, which, by the way, is 100% risk-free because the course comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. If it works, great. If not, just show me at least three property evaluations that you've done for clients, and if it still isn't working for you, then just request a full refund. And why the coupon code STREAMER? Well, STREAMER is actually an acronym and it stands for Short-Term Rental Automation Master, which is what my students become after they master the systems in my course. So use the coupon code STREAMER to become a Short-Term Rental Automation Master and tap into the insider knowledge that comes with enrollment in my course, along with access to my private Facebook group with other students who are looking forward to helping you achieve financial freedom as much as I am. And now, I want to take a few minutes to answer some of the most commonly asked questions that I hear. The number one question I get asked is, how quickly can I get through the course? Well, I believe you can read through the course in as little as a couple of days. So I recommend that you take a weekend to focus and study it. Then you'll be equipped to go out and start signing up clients. Another question is, how soon after a listing goes live do you get your first guest? Well, the funny thing is that when my students follow my systems, they usually get their first guest within 24 hours after turning on their Airbnb listing. I mean, it happens all the time. So make sure everything is set up and what I call guest ready before you hit that button because once you turn it on, the guests will start flowing in almost immediately. And many of my students work with a partner or as a team, and they want to know if they can share the course. And the answer to that is yes. You do have to make the one payment when you purchase the course. There's nothing I can do about that. But you can share the login between the two of you. So just email me with both of your names at sue at vacationrentalsinla.net to let me know. So then you can both join the private Facebook group as well, and we'll take care of you. Now, a lot of people ask, do I need to spend more money to set up a corporation to do this? And actually, that won't be necessary. You could start a guest management services business as a sole proprietor, which means you don't need to set up a big, hairy corporation or a complicated business entity, unless, of course, you want to. However, I do recommend that you create a fictitious business name so that it just sounds more professional when you're offering your services. Okay? 
And another frequently asked question is, do I need a real estate license to do this? And the answer is no, absolutely not. By following my course and implementing my systems, you will not need a license of any kind. And people also ask, what about paying taxes on the money that you make? And this is a great question because Airbnb handles everything. As the owner of the Airbnb account, you are considered an independent contractor, not an employee. And at the end of the year, Airbnb will send you a 1099 tax form with the amount of income that they send you. Airbnb doesn't hold back taxes, so you're going to be responsible for paying income tax on the money you made. Just make sure to track all of your expenses and do proper accounting so then you can deduct the allowable business expenses. And I also recommend working with a competent tax professional who can help you figure out how much to pay in taxes when that time comes. Okay? And speaking of taxes, when it comes to occupancy tax, this is a tax that's sometimes required to be paid to a local agency for each guest stay, and it varies from place to place. So it's up to you to figure out if you owe an occupancy tax, and if so, to whom, depending on where the property is located. So check the local laws for wherever your client's house is to see what's required. But I want to point out a wonderful service that's available to all cities. See, Airbnb offers a service to automatically collect the occupancy tax from every stay within a city's boundaries and remit it directly to the city. This is brilliant, and all the city has to do is ask Airbnb to add a snippet of code to any listings that fall within their boundaries, and they'll get an immediate revenue boost. For example, the city of Los Angeles approached Airbnb, and they said, hey, there are a lot of hosts in our city, and they haven't figured out how much to collect and where to send it. So they asked Airbnb, would you please collect the tax from every booking and then remit it directly to us? To which Airbnb said, sure, no problem. And they set it up in a couple of weeks, and now the city of Los Angeles is enjoying a tax revenue boost somewhere between 5 to $10 million per year. And many cities are discovering this simple solution, asking Airbnb to do the same for them. So now we need to talk a little bit about insurance. Do you need to take out a special insurance policy to do this? Now this is a great subject. Let me just say that Airbnb has your back when it comes to insurance. First of all, every reservation that you accept is covered by a $1 million host guarantee that covers theft and vandalism. So that would cover your client's home from any intentional acts by the guests. Then, each reservation is also covered by another $1 million liability policy that covers injuries. So these are automatically included with every single booking. There are no forms to fill out, no qualifications to meet, no deductibles to pay, easy peasy. So like I said, I don't like risk and liability, and I found that when I work with Airbnb, they have a solution for every situation, which gives me total peace of mind. Another commonly asked question is, are there any properties you can't do this on? <laughs> okay, well, some things can make a property unsuccessful as a short-term rental. For the most part, each property has the potential to make more money as a short-term rental than a long-term rental. And in my course, you'll discover the five keys to evaluating a property so you can answer the client's question quickly and easily, is Airbnb right for me? And for those entrepreneurs who are wondering, can I charge more for extra services like decorating or furnishing? <laughs> to you, I say yes, you can charge the client more for furnishing and decorating services if you like. I've had many property owners say, you know, I really don't have a sense for decorating, can you help me? <laughs> For example, I had a new client that had a two-bedroom, one-bath house in El Monte. He was a busy real estate agent, and he didn't have time to furnish and decorate the whole house, so we agreed that he would set up an account for me with a budget so that I could purchase all the furniture, and then I would also get a flat fee for my furnishing services. And this was a separate agreement from the guest management services. So keep in mind that you'll never have to come out of pocket to pay for furniture or repairs. That's always the responsibility of the property owner. Think of it as a collaboration or a partnership because the property owner is providing a home in guest-ready condition and you don't begin creating the listing until everything has been put in place by the owner. And then any help you provide in 
helping to get the property guests ready, that can be an additional income stream for you. So get creative, absolutely. And of course, you could charge extra for any other expertise that you bring to the table, such as decorating, furnishing, photography, transportation services for the guests, trips, tours, what have you. <laughs> In fact, there are many opportunities to tap into multiple streams of income when you offer guest management services. And it's up to you to determine what services you'll provide to help make the owner's short-term rental a success and increase your income at the same time. And there's five different ideas in the course that you can add to your services to create multiple streams of income. Now, maybe you're a landlord or a homeowner and you're listening to this thinking, well, what if I want to do Airbnb on my own property? Well, this is absolutely for you. You can use these strategies in this course to create a turnkey cash flow money-making machine on all of your properties. Then you can just run it yourself from your cell phone or choose to outsource the daily duties using my systems and tools if you like. In addition to the guest management services business model, the course includes the bed and breakfast model where you can make between $1,000 to $10,000 a month just renting the rooms and spaces in your own home. And if you're a landlord with empty rentals, you can use this information to convert them to short-term rentals, double or triple your rental income, and eliminate eviction headaches. Or you can mix and match and use all of the business models to build and grow your Airbnb empire. In fact, if you have a furnished house, you could follow my course and be up and running in as little as seven days. Oh, and another bonus that I haven't mentioned yet is that the course comes with a module called Timeshare Goldmine that teaches you how to rent out your timeshare on Airbnb too. So if you're one of the many people who's frustrated because you have to keep paying dues for something you hardly ever use, now you can rent it on Airbnb and actually turn it into an investment. Since I started renting my timeshare on Airbnb, I get a steady return of over 200% year after year. You'll really love this strategy because it's actually the easiest business model in the sense that you don't have to furnish the place, there's no cleaning to schedule, and because the resort has 24-hour concierge, there's no greeting to manage. Oh, and hey guys, don't forget that I'm going to be doing monthly group coaching calls with folks who sign up today. We'll be meeting in a live chat room over the internet so you can get your questions answered and your listings going super fast. Okay, I uh, just wanted to mention that and back to questions. Uh, another one I get a lot is, what about cleaning? Well, you can outsource the cleaning to a local service, but I tend to get dinged on my cleaning reviews from the guests more often when I do that. So in the course, I've included another module called the Quick Changeover Cleaning System everything you need to bring the cleaning piece in-house. You get the training tools, systems, pricing strategies to create your own cleaning department. And if you do that, then you'll get better results, better reviews, and you can actually create an additional stream of income for your business. Now another question I get asked is, can you manage reservations for properties that are far away? And the answer to that is, yes, you can, if you have a trusted person nearby. I refer to them as my boots-on-the-ground person. In fact, that's how many of my students are managing their properties that are in other states and sometimes in, in other countries. And for me, I consider far away to be more than a 30-minute drive. That's an arbitrary number that just feels right to me because I think about it like this. If there's an issue that the guest is having and they need help, I don't want them to have to wait more than 30 minutes. It's just a customer service thing. So for me, if I have properties more than 30 minutes away, I'll assign a new person who's closer to those properties. But then it's up to you to decide what constitutes far away for you. And another question I've been asked is, do you get any resistance from clients when you talk about the $500 to $1,000 setup fee? And actually, I do not because in the client onboarding meeting, the magic is in the guest management contract. It's the tool to explain to the customer in detail exactly what's involved in the setup and ongoing management of their vacation rental. During this conversation, 
which is detailed out in the course, by the way. They see how much time and money they're going to be saving with the tools you give them, like the furnishing checklist and the inventory tracking system, plus your guidance to help set them up for success. And by the end of the conversation, they realize that they're getting much more value than the small $500 payment, and they're happy and eager to write a check to get started. This has been my experience 100% of the time. And people wonder, what if I don't rent the property consistently? Do you have any liability? Meaning, would you owe anything to the property owner for the vacant nights? And that's a great question. And one of the beautiful things about the guest management services business is that it's designed to protect you from any liability. The contract specifically states that the income is not guaranteed and that it will fluctuate. That way, the property owner understands from the beginning that some months will be better than others. So as a service provider, you're not guaranteeing the income. Therefore, you do not owe anything, even if it underperforms. And some people ask, what if you don't already have a good reputation on Airbnb because you're starting out? Some folks ask, will that make it hard to get clients? And I have to smile because it reminds me of my student, Felix. After taking my course, he was so confident. He saw the income potential of Airbnb, and simply by sharing his enthusiasm with his friends, he got his first client. And that client paid him $2,500 to help him get set up and manage his property as a short-term rental. And Felix is also charging 20% for his guest management services. So it's very doable to get off to a fast start, even if you don't have an established Airbnb presence. So now, if there are any other questions that I haven't covered, feel free to enter them in the chat below. So look, guys, you know what? I'm nothing special. I'm crazy. In fact, everybody tells me that, what with turning the closet under my stairs into the Harry Potter room and renting out my couch on Airbnb for $20 a night and renting a tent in the backyard. I mean, I've really tested the limits of Airbnb, and so far, I haven't found any. And I've spent six years of trial and lots of error figuring out these systems, tools, and strategies, and I'm just giving you the laser-focused best strategy with the structured path to follow so you could be up and running in the next 30 days. For some of you, probably even faster than that. And it's such a small investment to start changing your life today. Sure, you could spend countless hours trying to figure it all out the hard way, but why? I mean, I'm just a normal person, and I promise you, if I can do it, you can do it. And you know what? If money is an issue for you right now, think of it this way. All of us have disposable income. Most of us get our paycheck each month, and a percentage of that goes towards movies, going out to dinner, and things like that. And I'm not asking you to go into debt for this at all. What I'm trying to ask you to do is, instead of spending your money on movies and going out to dinner and stuff and blowing it on something that's just going to be there and then fade away, and you're going to kind of lose it, well, I'm just asking you to make an investment in yourself because the money you put into this is going to turn into more money for you and for your family. Does that make sense? And I assume you've read the book Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki, right? And in the book, he talks about the difference between assets and liabilities. And he says the poor people, they buy liabilities. They buy cars, they buy boats, they buy things you put money into, and then the money just disappears. And what the rich people do is they put their money into investments, into things that are going to turn into more money. So all I'm asking you to do is to divert some of your disposable income into an investment as opposed to something that's going to just take money away from you. And I know I've shared a ton of information with you in this webinar, but information alone isn't going to save you. You need systems. You need action. You need all of the tools, worksheets, exercises, strategies, the shortcuts and screening rules that are included in this course. I've given you a ton of information today, but information alone will not get you where you want to be. You need my formula because that's what's going to help you, because that's where you're going to get the support to get to the next level. So go ahead and get enrolled now. And for those who stayed through the end, here's the bonus that I promised. Use the link on this page to enroll for free in my online course called How Much Money Can I Make with Airbnb. It also includes the cash flow calculator, which I'm sure you'll enjoy. And it's just my thank you to you for taking the time to learn more about this great opportunity for creating financial freedom for you and your family with Airbnb. 
So go sign up right now. Go to sueoyuela.com forward slash start. And remember that the group coaching calls are only for those action takers who get in today, right now, before the webinar ends. When the webinar ends, the students who got in will be joining me on the group coaching calls this month to begin strategizing and building their Airbnb businesses. Okay, so I hope this has been awesome for you guys. I know I've loved every minute of it, getting to share with you because you know what? The cool thing about Airbnb is that the opportunity is so huge. And there are so many empty spaces, rooms, and houses out there to rent. And the demand is so strong. I mean, now that Airbnb is becoming more well-known, it's part of our culture, and it is definitely here to stay. But there's so much to go around, and there's no worry about too much competition. And because I can't be everywhere, I'm hoping that you guys will complete the course, pass the certification, and join my network so when I get new clients in faraway places, I can refer them to you. Because isn't it more fun when you can do it together? Absolutely. So, well, now the webinar's over, and I just want to talk to those who signed up. So if you've already enrolled in the BMB Freedom Formula, just stick around for another minute so I can let you know what's next. Okay, well first I want to welcome you all as the newest members of the BMB Freedom Formula. Congratulations on making an excellent decision. And I want to thank you for allowing me to be your coach and mentor and help you achieve financial freedom. And I'm so looking forward to working more closely with you guys. So what you could do now is go to the course and get started. Go to the website, sueoyuela.com. And you're going to want to click on the dashboard link at the top. So this is where you're going to log in. And the dashboard is also where you're going to track your progress through the course. So every time you get to the end of a section, there's a little button. Click the complete button at the end. And you're going to be awarded badges as you celebrate each milestone. Kind of fun. And then you can access the course under the BNB Freedom Formula link at the top as well. So once you finish a section, just click on the link again to navigate to the next section. So in order to navigate through the course, the BNB Freedom Formula link at the top is going to be your friend. So when in doubt, just click on that. Oh, and also, be watching for an email from me in the next hour or so. You're going to have to click the link in the email to allow me to send you emails on an ongoing basis. And this is how you'll be notified of the monthly group coaching calls. So click the link to accept them and then save my email address, sue at vacationrentalsinla.net. Save that to your contacts now so that you'll avoid missing any important updates, okay? All right, well, that's all for now. And I look forward to seeing you guys on the group coaching calls soon. And in the meantime, if you have any questions, just shoot me an email. I'm here for you. I support you. And I just want to see you guys become successful as quickly as possible. All right. Well, this is Sue Oyuela sending you lots of love and good wishes. And take care. And bye for now.